So we are, we're still playing on with our algebra unit. I want to make, before we move on, there'll be a big component of algebra in your end of year assessment, okay? So that you have to be able to do. All right, you can see how it's gone from level one all the way up to level seven and eight. Um, we're going to look at it again from slightly a different angle, but what I would like for you to eventually today is I want you to come up with an equation to pass to someone else to solve. Yeah? All right. So what we need to do first off, though, is think about how do we build an equation up? All right? How can we make one? So if I make one for you, I do it in my head and then just write it down. But we're going to go through the process that I will do in my head. Um, and hopefully that will then help you think about how you are going to unbuild it to solve it. Does that make sense? Yeah? So we're going to kind of think of it as being built up layer by layer, by, like, an, like an onion. We unpeel an onion, lots of skin. We're going to kind of rebuild the onion and then someone else is going to unpeel that same onion and come up with the solution. Making sense? Okay. So, what do we do when we start building an equation? First of all, we have to say, I've got an unknown number. X. What do I call it? X. Call it X. Okay? But, when we write an equation, that unknown number has to have a value, doesn't it? So should we pick a value? What should we say x is? Three, Okay, I heard three first. Right, let's write it down. So what we've done is we've actually started our equation with the most simplest form there is. x equals three. So if I wrote that down as an equation, is it an equation, by the way? Yeah. Well, no. yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah. It's an unknown equals a value. Yeah? It's a very, very simple equation. An equation that needs no working out. Why? Because the equation tells me what x is. Yeah? Now, what we need to do to build a more complicated equation is to make adjustments to both sides. But how do we keep the equal sign true? I think you're thinking of something different. How do I make sure that equal sign remains true, that one side equals the other? If you do something on one side, you have to do it. Yeah. So I'm going to adjust it slightly. I'm going to say, if we do something on one side, we have to do something to the other side that has exactly the same impact. Now, that might not be it's exactly the same thing, but it has the same impact. So, can you think of anything where there's two slightly different things, but they basically get to the same answer? But that's the same thing on both sides. If I add five to both sides, we can do that. But is there anything that I can do on one side, but I can do something different to the other side, but it has the same result? Can you think of anything? And what would I do to the other side? That's the same thing though, isn't it? I know, because that's different. Times in by one side and dividing the other side is going to do a different thing, isn't it? You could do um, 3x equals 3 plus 6. Ah, okay. That's something. Did you all understand what you said there? Okay. So, for instance, I could multiply... Actually, I'm not going to do that. I could take this side and multiply it by 3. That would give me 3x, yeah? yeah? Now, at this stage, I am going to just do exactly the same to the other side. What's it going to be? 9. Okay? Is that an equation? Yes. Yeah? Is that a slightly harder equation to deal with? Yeah? Still not super hard, is it? 
that would be what we would consider a one-step equation. Because there's one step to build it, therefore to solve it, we would only need one step to go backwards, yeah? So what did I do to build it? I um, multiplied by three. Multiplied by three. So if I wanted to solve it, what would I do? You divide. Divide it by three, yeah? Could we think of something else to do next? I don't want to multiply again. What do you think, Alyssa? Are you with me? What, what could we do next? I could. I could divide. We could add. We could subtract. Uh, but I don't want you to solve it. I'm building an equation now. Yeah. I don't want to know how to solve it. We, we've already got that. How can I build up a second step to this equation? Oh, um, you could just add more stuff. We could just add more stuff, yeah? yeah? Add another layer to it. Yeah. So, so, for instance, we could just add, yeah? So if I said 3x plus 7, seven okay? But what would that equal? 16. 16. So what did I do? What was my second step? To add seven. Add seven, seven. Yeah. Scratchy, scratchy, paper, paper. You're proving my point. There is no scratchy, scratchy, paper, paper happening. <laughs> do you think that's a reasonable equation now? Could we just stop there? No. I mean, you could, yeah. but you should add more. Should we stop? Let's stop. Let's stop at that one. Now, if I gave that to someone else, and I asked them to solve it, do you think that would be a reasonable question? Yeah. Is it kind of like the ones I've given you for homework? Yeah. Sort of. Yeah? Just one then, yeah? Do you think it looks quite simple? Yes. Yeah. Well, it is, because you've seen the building of yeah, it. But I when I gave you those before, you looked at me like, I don't know, I don't know how to do that. Some of you are still at that stage. But see how it's been built up? When we solve it, you have to unbuild it. That should You could add it. Well, sh let's do another one. Let's stop there and let's build a different one. So let's pick a different letter. Should we do B? Y, okay. B equals? Four. Seven. We got seven first. That would be the solution. Let's do something different first now. What could we do differently? Uh, you could um, you could add B. Oh, I like it. That's kind of what I was talking about. Let's add B to both sides. All right. This is interesting. What does it become? That. All right, do you remember not long ago, a couple of minutes, I was saying to you, you can do different things to both sides and get the same result. Well, it looks like we did the same thing. In fact, we did do the same thing on both sides. We added B, yeah? But look at the left-hand side. What could we also say we did? Multiplied by? Two. Did we multiply the other side by two? Well, technically, we know B is 7, so it is multiplied by 2. Yeah. But we've written it in a different way to make the equation a little bit... Easier, simpler. Harder. 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 A bit more complex, yeah. You see that? We've now got one of those equations with unknowns on both sides. Do you remember when you were solving them, you then went, oh, if I subtract B from both sides, I get that, yeah? Have you done that? That's one step equation. Let's make it hard. Let's do a second step. What could we do next? We could multiply it by 4G. Uh, uh, we could, but I'm not going to go that far. There's a reason for it. We could just multiply by 4. Should we multiply by 4? Yeah. Have a go. 
at writing what that would be. So if we do our second step of multiply by 4, what would it look like? this side B if I did multiply by 4? 8B's. Eight B's, yeah. 8 B's on this side and then on the other side I would write 28 plus 4B. I could do 28 plus 4B. I could just do 7 plus 4 No, we would have to do 4 times oh, yeah, 7 plus B. That yeah. makes it one of those that has brackets in it. Yeah? Is that a good end point? No. Right, we could do more. How are you going to eat though? Two B's yeah, times five four. No. Alright. Now, we could carry on, but we're gonna stop at two steppers. We haven't done it yet. By that would make a three step one. But what we'll do, I don't want you at the moment to go to, how many steps could we do? As many as we like, yeah? In fact, that would look like one of those level seven and eight questions, right? Do this, then do that, then do this, then do that, then that, then this, then that. It gets really difficult, yeah? This is a level, what, do you recognize it? One and two, uh, two, three, and three, three. This one, one, two, no. This is a five, six question. Really? Yeah. So you can see, when you have built it up for yourself, you can start, to, actually it's starting to feel a little bit simpler, right? So I'm, I'm hoping by going through this process of building up your own, it will help you understand how we then unbuild them and solve it, right? Should we do another one that has division in there? Yes, yes please. Okay. Um, give me a starting point, Mackenzie. Y of Another x. Okay. Mm -hmm. X equals 2. Mm -hmm. okay. It doesn't matter. You can start wherever you like. All right. What should we do first, Chase? Um, plus 4? Add 4? Okay. What, what would that look like? We're only adding 4, so at the moment I've got an x and I've got a 2. If I just add 4, it, what does it become? Just, where does the 2x come from? We've started from scratch with an x equals 2. If we add 4, what does it look like? No? And I, would you know? So if we just add four, say that again, right? Is four x the same as adding four to x? X plus four. And what would be on the other side of my arrow? Six. There you go. There's your x plus four and six. All right. Should we get some division involved? Yes. Okay. Be careful though. We want to make it so that it's nice and neat and tidy at the moment. It doesn't always have to be, but just at, at the moment. So what could I divide by and make it so that it's still quite nice? So I'm going to divide everything by, what do you think that? Two. Two. Yeah. 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 Yeah
What do you think, Alyssa? Divide by two? Three. Two could work? Could three work? Yeah. Why could three work as well as two? I need to work it. How could it? It could. But why Why two and three in particular? Um, because... So six on that side, yeah? Is divisible by two and divisible by three. And also divisible by six. We could do things like four and stuff like that, but why don't, which one do we want to pick? Two? Two. 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 Okay. So if I divide this side by two, I can't do anything else on that side, but if I divide this by two, I can actually now simplify that to three, right? But on this side, I've got x plus four, all of it divided by two, now equals three. See where that comes from? We've done two steps. We added 4 and then divided by 2. Should we call that a day? Do you think that would be a nice one to pass to someone else to try and solve it? Yeah? How do you feel? Is that also be considered a 5 6 question? I would say we're getting to that stage, yeah? Let's do one more where we. Let's go for a. Three stepper. We should do one more. Imaya, give me a, a solution. Sit, yep, can be anything we like. By the way, I'm, I know I did talk a lot, I was trying to give you time to write. Did anyone need to write anything down from previously? Children's happy voices in my video, don't you? Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to have a subtraction, a multiply, and a divide. Multiply by six. Okay. So six y's equals. How would you like to write that? Thirty six. Thirty six is an option, isn't it? Yeah. Is there any other things I could do? We don't need brackets. We only need brackets when we've got an additional subtraction has already happened. We haven't done anything else yet. Six times six. So let's just write that. So we've got six y is thirty six. I'm just going to write another option. We've already talked about this. What if I write six y is equal to six plus five y? Oh. Yeah. Would that also work? Like the one yeah. we did earlier? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. What, mm, well, the thing is, I know that one y is six. So in my head, because I'm the one building it, oh, this can be considered the same as a y, right? Mm -hmm. So a y plus another five y's is the same thing as six y's. So I can write that, but I could equally just say six y's is 36. So I've got two possible options at the moment. You all feel okay about that? Mm -hmm. Again, I was going back to that. We could do, it looks like we're doing different things on both sides, but we're actually doing the same. So I times by six on both sides. This option was adding five y's. Yeah? But we end up with the same sort of result. So we've done a multiplication. What should we do next? Could do a subtraction, would you okay? Subtract. This would be six y's subtract 19. Okay, I did the first bit for you. What would the other side be? And then it would be 36 subtract 19, 
What, what I would do is I'm going to take 20 away, because I can do that easily, right? 36 take 20 is 16. 16. But I actually only want to take 19, so if I add one back on, does that work? So 17. Did you follow what I did there? Uh, subtracting 19, that is quite tricky, but subtracting 20 and then adding one back on is easy, right? So should we say 17? What would this one be, though, oh. if I subtracted 19? That would be, be 6y minus 9. Oh, good. Negative, negative 13 plus 5y. So that's still... So we've got two options. Let's do a division. Now we've got a nasty one because we've got 17. And 17 is a prime number. Though. Well done. 17 is a prime number. So is 19. So is 19. And 13. But what we're going to do is we don't always have to do the division. We could just write it. What should we divide by? Four. Four. Three? No, Three. Four. Okay. Four, would be four. four. Okay. Let's divide by four. And we get on this side. 6 y's minus 19, all of that divided by 4 is equal to 17 divided by 4. I'm going to leave it like that. Why? Because 17 doesn't divide by 4. So I'm just going to leave it. What about the other side? It's going to be 6y minus 19 divided by 4 equals negative 13 plus 5y divided by 4. Look how difficult that one looks. Or well, both of them look. If I gave you that, the end, and said solve it, you just look at me and go, I can't do that. I'm pretty sure. But you've just built it up, right? What level do you think that would be? Charlie? Seven. Charlie? What level do you think that would be? top end of what you need. It's a three step one you see. Now do you see why I don't really want us to go too far beyond two steps? Because once we start getting into three steps we just start getting really tr tricky stuff. Okay. So we've got two options here. That is an equation. This is an equation. Now this one, although we did very similar things, this one would be considered harder because it's got Y's on both sides. But you can see how it was built up. Look, look where we started. Same place. Okay. So here's what I want from you now. We've done a lot of talking. Uh, are we Thank all you. feeling a, relatively confident enough? Yeah. Okay. I am going to ask you okay, to, in your book, I'm going to give you a bit of paper in a bit, but in your book, I'm going to ask you to build three equations like we've just been doing. So you start with what the answer's going to be, and you build up. Let's do two steps. Okay. All right? Do three of them. And what we're going to do is on your table, you're going to then check each other's, and just check that it's right. Then what we're going to do is we're going to select one of your questions, and you're going to write it on a piece of paper, and we're going to pass it to a different table, and you're only going to write the question, and you're going to see if they can solve it. Mm. But keep it, let's keep it in the level four, five, six. Yeah, we don't need to go to level seven and eight for everyone. Right? No. Let's keep it, I would suggest, keep it along these sort of lines, yeah? You can do brackets, you can do some division, keep it on the two-step stuff. Because if you give someone else, say level seven and eight, you've got to be expecting to get one back. You know? So let's keep it on the five, six. So just reiterate that again. What are you going to do? Tell me first step, Maya. We're going to, in our books, we're going to write that down in order. How many? Three. Three. How many steps? Two. Two. Yeah? 
what's going to happen then? So you're going to... Not yet. She's right. On the table, you show everything to someone else on your table. And they can just check your steps and see if they agree that your steps work and you haven't done something wrong. Because if you've done something wrong, your equation's going to be impossible to solve. Once you're happy, then we're going to choose one of those and we're going to write it on paper and you're going to just write the end one in the box and we're going to pass it to a different table and the, pe the people on that table are going to solve it. All good? Go for it. 